It's the final day of the Cree Lake Lodge Northern Gator Trip. Dave sets out one last time to prove that giant pike don't only live in shallow back bays. There's everywhere, literally. It's all <laughs> over your legs. Look at he uh, defecated uh, everywhere. In a land like no other, on a lake like you've never seen. Well, maybe you've seen lakes like this, but there is an angler so great, he once set the hook so hard he turned a small mouth into a large mouth. He can unscramble an egg. He made his first cast at the age of three and it landed yesterday. We join him to chronicle one day on one lake. This is Facts of Fishing, the show. Here we go. Welcome to Facts of Fishing, the show. Brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Abu Garcia for life. Yamaha, conquer water. Live target, lifelike lures. Action car and truck accessories, the right customer experience. Berkeley, catch more fish. And Phoenix Bass Boats, experience the Phoenix difference. Fish is right in front of us. Giant. Come on. There's fish all over this, dude. There's fish there, there's fish there. There's we probably have both these fish on the GoPro right now. They're everywhere. Another jumbo sitting up there. Uh-huh. We need to catch an aircraft carrier today. Today's aircraft carrier day. Oh, look at this thing. What is that? Dude, how thick that fish is. Oh my God. That is insane. That's the thickest fish I've seen here all week. And it was in four or five feet of water. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is officially the longest I've ever gone on this lake without catching a fish. Yep. <laughs> but we're about to change that. Always something. Just gotta figure out what it is. Hey, Dub, can you pull us back yep. off this? I'm gonna rig a different bait. There's too many fish here not to catch them. What's your favorite technique out here? This catching technique. What do you think the best, or what do you see the most, other than spoons and that little thing? That's about it. <laughs> Should I? I mean, I, I don't know. There's so many of them that have looked at it. This swim bait has got one of the coolest features I've seen in a bait. These are the new live target swim baits and, and a big swim bait like this becomes really difficult to fish on a single hook. You know, it's a long bait. You're gonna miss a lot of fish. The hook just becomes too big. So they put a couple of hooks like that and the problem is with a hook like that well you're gonna pick up a lot of weeds well not with this bad boy because you cast it the hooks are loose as soon as you start cranking it's got a rare earth magnet on it and those hooks tuck away there we go dropped it at least we got some action hmm they're nudging it. They're not trying to eat it again. Boom, boom. Again. Boom, boom. But at least they're reacting to it. Oh, 
Oh, big follower, giant follower. Look at him, swimming towards you, Doug. There he is. I just gotta figure out what they want. Man. Pretty decent one right there. <laughs> Beautiful. What a release. <sighs> this segment is brought to you by Abu Garcia for life. It's always one of the craziest feelings in the world when you're surrounded by such giant, giant fish. And that, no matter how much you fish, this is, this is what gets you excited. I mean, trying to figure out what it's gonna take to make a munch. Fishing is just like playing a game of golf, except you can't see the hole and it keeps moving. We'll figure them out. You know why they're not munching? Remember this morning we were joking about you can throw anything here? The fish gods heard us. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> now, I'll show you. Oh, fancy pants, huh? Going to surround you with lots and lots of fish. <laughs> that are not hungry. What we have here is a case of the fish playing hard to eat. Something nudged it. Again. Oh, see? They're, dude, they're just nudging it. Just give you hints and only a dummy doesn't listen to them. I haven't listened long enough. We're not searching for numbers. We're searching for giants. I'm okay not catching a lot. As long as the ones I catch are a lot. Like that one off the left of the bow there oh yeah big <laughs> scud that would do huh so many of them it's ridiculous Good one too. Man, most people, you know, when they think of pike fishing, they just, they think it's all shallow water and we're not super deep, but uh, you gotta fish a little deeper than just, you know, two, three feet of water. And this is the spring of the year. I mean, this is when most people just target them in shallow, shallow water, but get a little bit offshore, get a little bit deeper water. And they live there too. Mm. 
Mama, do you think we'll catch the pike? Ooh, baby. Hush now, baby, baby. Pike don't bite. Giant! Oh my word! Wow! This thing freight trained it. It's a big giant fish. Oh wow! Oh, he's off. No, nope. he's just rolling. It's a tank. This is an absolute tank. My ladder just rolled in it weird. No, it's a big fish. Look at the size of that dude right there. <laughs> Get offshore. Don't be stuck. Always thinking that, uh, hey, we're pike fishing, so we have to be super, super shallow spring of the year. I mean, you move a little offshore, we're fishing like 10 feet of water here. Big flat here, and it's full of these gators. Oh. There's everywhere, literally. It's all <laughs> over your legs. Look at it, he uh -oh. defecated uh -oh. everywhere. <laughs> Oh, it stinks! Oh, jeez! Oh, it's so bad! Look at your legs! It's a sh catastrophe! Oh! So, like I was saying, don't think pike are only in shallow water. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna do. You're a mess. I can't have a camera guy looking like that in my show. <laughs> The rods in today's episode were threaded using the RTD rod threading device. I mean, the only thing we haven't thrown is top water. <laughs> I just can't see them dusting it though, if they won't eat anything else. Yeah, not one of those days, I don't think. So it's not like we haven't seen the fish, we just can't, we can't get them to bite. I mean, it's crazy the amount of them that have just turned right. away. Yeah. Like it's, it's goes to show you, man, every lake's a lake, right? Yeah. Like they don't have to eat every day. Mama, do you think we'll catch a pike? Ooh, baby. Oh, I just got bumped. Oh, there's... Oh. oh, he's just moving. I thought he came off. Oh, I slacklined him for a second there and got lucky. Just trying to help my buddy out there, make it easier for you, you know. You're a rock star. Not a fishing star, that's for sure. That one hit hard, eh? They are dust in this bait. Better fish? Yeah, a bit better. Oh, he did the side step. Stutter stepped you. Here he comes. Just goes to show you that these gators don't only live in shallow water. Don't be afraid to get yourself a deeper diving crankbait and burn it through a bunch of these and you'll have a blast. One of the keys with throwing any type of crankbait, any body bait is, you want, oh, there's a fish right there. 
That might not be a fish. That might be the bottom. <laughs> but one of the keys to this is using a soft enough rod. Just simply because, I mean, I know a lot of shows wouldn't show this. I mean, hooking on a log like this, but I mean, we don't have pride like those other shows. But what I was trying to teach you is one of the keys to this type of bait is having a soft enough rod. So when that big fish grabs it, it becomes even more important with big northerns like this than it does uh, a bass or something. Because you gotta remember, you got a bait that's moving one direction fast and a fish that's moving the other direction. So you wanna have a bit of give in that rod tip. And uh, if you do, you may just catch trophies like that. Dub, told you I was gonna get a 50 incher today. <laughs> That one might have been 60, I think. <laughs> there he is. Mmm, Laker. Bonus fish. Look at that thing right there. That's one of the advantages of fishing a little deeper. I mean, you don't always just get pike. Bonus Laker. These little things are monsters at the boat. <laughs> there you go. This week's episode was filmed at Cree Lake Lodge in northern Saskatchewan. Visit CreeLakeLodge.com. This segment is brought to you by Hook Performance Fishing. I know the scam. Bring them to the good stuff at the end so they come back. <laughs> <laughs> Big fish, giant. Easy, going under the boat. Look at the size of this fish right here. Wow. Mm. Oh man. Boom, that is an absolute giant. Man, oh man, you know, that's the coolest thing about fishing somewhere like Cree Lake. I mean, every single cast, you have an opportunity at the fish of a lifetime. It's a good one, hey, Dub? Look at the size of that fish. Weird, he's, I don't know if he's got broken back from when he was young or what, but a big humpy hump on him. But that is an absolute giant. Cree Lake, it's just another Cree Lake critter. And these things are everywhere. I'm gonna tell you sometime in your life, if you love to catch these toothy critters, you need to come here. One bit of advice, don't let your kids go swimming. That's a giant, giant fish. Look at that thing. Mm. What an absolute beast. The dragon is rolling. Oh man, look at the size of this fish. Coming to you, Dub. Oh man, what a beast. What a freaking beast. Thank you, brother. I thought he was bigger than a big head, but he's a good one. Oh, look at that fish right there. Don't be afraid 
to delve a little deeper when you're going gator fishing. But I can't stress to you how important it is for every single technique to have the right rod for the job. I mean, these two different baits that I'm fishing in this deeper water have totally different rods and it all starts at the hook. The hook is the most important thing. That's why those fancy fly anglers get away with those whippy rods because they got tiny little hooks. That's right, I said it. I said it to you. Fly anglers have tiny little hooks. <laughs> That's a big one right there. <sighs> He's angry with good reason. <sighs> Day fished for six and a half hours, made 387 casts, and caught 14 fish. That's it for the score. Now, time for the facts. Dave used a live target yellow perch deep diving crankbait fished on a seven foot medium heavy action Abu Garcia Veritas casting rod with an Abu Garcia Revo Beast, spooled up with 65 pound test Berkeley X5 braided line with a Berkeley 100% floral carbon leader. Dave also used a live target juvenile pike swim bait, fished with a seven foot medium heavy action Abu Garcia villain casting rod paired with an Abu Garcia Revo Beast, spooled up with 65 pound test Berkeley X5 braided line with a Berkeley 100% fluorocarbon leader. And that's the facts.